Hey you, welcome back to the channel. And guys, today I want to talk understanding true value. Um, and cryptocurrency, the cryptocurrency space is a unique uh, area. And some of us would even say that certain financial uh, rules don't apply to what we get in cryptocurrency. Uh, for example, uh, some would say that charting uh, which we commonly use in uh, stocks uh, doesn't quite work on cryptocurrency whereas some would say it actually does work that you can read the charts of the movement of cryptocurrency and determine what it's going to do um, but what I want to speak spe uh, specifically about is trying to help us understand true value of a cryptocurrency and um, that's a loaded question uh, a lot of things go into uh, what's making a cryptocurrency valuable and who uses it and, and who finds value in what it's doing. Um, but I just want to uh, use an example here of um, these uh, these, fi these financial reports, uh, these annual reports from a, a traditional company uh, that takes in co into consideration not just the stock value of the company, but the assets that are within the company. Uh, the assets... Uh, minus the liabilities but in looking at cryptocurrency how do we find value in in these projects and various things um, uh, what we we're seeing a lot with electronium is we're seeing some great um, uh, a great vision we're seeing uh, many projects take root that uh, I firmly believe will make Electronium very valuable has made it very valuable, but it's not showing up in the uh, in the in the uh, on the prices uh, the trade the trade volume on exchanges right in the price. Um, so let's talk a little bit about what happens anytime we have something that clearly is more valuable than the price is going for, or what we might call uh, in certain investment areas as. Uh, uh, picking up something or purchasing an asset at discount as opposed to a premium, right? So as we can see here, uh, this is just like a breakdown of this company. It's talking about the stockholders' equity. And if we compare that to cryptocurrency, right, we have token holders, which uh, let's just use some terms interchangeably for the sake of this video. Let's say that token holders are stockholders, right? In this example, you would have two ways of looking at this you would have or or, or two ways to consider the value uh, of an asset in which case one would be book value um, the other would be the net um, or I'm sorry market value or net asset value versus market value right so let's determine which is which uh, the net asset value would be the actual value uh, and let's and let's try to let's try to compose that into a crypto's currency like electronium what I would see is the true value of electronium is the partnerships right the blockchain the technology the uh, the new instant payment system uh, that's coming out the patent the marketing strategy the number of people using the token uh, and the overall the overall plan right uh, of the token all of these things uh, would go into in, in trying to break it down to a crypto a cryptocurrency as obviously with a cryptocurrency you're not going to have buildings uh, you're not going to have uh, cash assets uh, or you could actually you could you, you can have but in, a, in electronium's case uh, you know but you will have so many tokens being held of value various things like that you can also have tokens of other uh, entities within that uh, if you prefer but just looking at electronium uh, those things would be the asset the um, the assets let's say within electronium for example so then that would be one way of categorizing electronium's value now the next thing would be market value right so market value obviously would be 
what we're going to be able to purchase, uh, you know, what people are willing to buy and sell electronium at. And some would, um, in the crypto space, might even say, well, that's the actual true value. Um, because if it, there's nobody willing to buy, if there's nobody willing to sell, uh, you know, that is going to tr pretty much contain, right, the, the value of that. However, uh, that uh, doesn't work well traditionally because, remember, in the market, we have speculators that drive up prices. Uh, interesting enough, I believe the channel is called All About Tech, a popular uh, YouTube channel speaks primarily about electronium. Uh, and this, it was um, a video came out recently on their channel about how easy it is to manipulate the market, right? How easy it is for like one person to come in and they can move the value of electronium fair, fairly easy or just by being able to push out enough, you know, big stakes. And of course, we obviously have this problem in uh, a lot of, uh, you know, uh, uh, cryptocurrencies at this time. Um, you know, if this were like the traditional markets, like the stock market or something like that, uh, you would have, uh, you know, pump and dumps. Uh, they would be uh, draw the attention of the SEC, <laughs> you know, uh, that type of activity, those type of weird uh, market uh, uh, um, in, uh, increases and, and declines. Um, you know, they would view this as a pump and dump. And, and obviously that's kind of, you know, similar to what we possibly be, possibly may be looking at with electronium. Um, in that the value of electronium is nowhere, uh, in my opinion, near what it should be. Uh, and it's due to uh, factors outside of what's going on within electronium, right? As, you know, it's like just like how we're looking at this, uh, these assets of this company, and you know, we can clearly see the value of some of these assets, right? Um, that value does not change irrespective of what the market does or whatever the market determines they want to pay for something, these assets are still valued at whatever they're valued at, right? Independent of the particular price. Uh, meaning this, they could liquidate these assets and various things like that. Now, obviously, electronium and being able to reach so many people with their future endeavors and plans and the many options they'll have as far as direction with electronium to generate money and partnerships and, and various things like that is obviously, despite what the market's uh, saying about electronium now, is obviously going to be a factor later that's going to make electronium very valuable. So I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying about the difference between the book value and market value. I was just saying in very simple terms that what speculators are paying for a particular token on the market does not necessarily reflect this value and that we ought to be careful and understand the true value of an asset uh, and not just look at price pumps and dumps and uh, various things like that. And uh, the people who fare or who will fare the best in these type situations and markets will be people who can see true value in uh, these tokens. Now, there are a lot of investment, and I'm not going to name or sing out any particular type of tokens, um, but there, I, I have seen billions of dollars and a lot of money put into tokens that, as far as I'm concerned, don't have really good overall plans for mass adoptions. It, it seems to me like one of those type of situations where people are just propping up the markets, right? Like how people prop up markets uh, right before a bubble. Uh, you have a lot of people buying in and then you get the bubble as the, uh, or as the price is not uh, sustainable to its actual value. And so that's, and that's what I, I think we need to be mindful of here when looking at electronium, that we need to look at what electronium is doing in comparison to other tokens that may be doing well in price right now, but I think that uh, you know when it's really broken down, and I think that's the reason why we see a lot of tokens drop in price uh, tremendously and leave people holding the bag, and people are like, well, what happened? How could this happen? Well, what happened was 
uh, you you got in, you got caught up on the speculators bandwagon, right? <laughs> Where you're just hoping the price goes up and up and up for no reason at all, uh, you know, other than uh, uh, you know you're just basically gambling and pumping up the price. Uh, you know, there needs to be uh, a, a substantial plans created that create true value not just today but over the course of tomorrow and another problem i've seen with many tokens uh have been that they uh, uh they don't have really long-term plans do they um they do something within the crypto space uh that uh, may not be uh, long lasting for the next day but guys i just want to uh just kind of open up our minds to that uh, not being confused with the market price of a of an asset of electronium, not comparing uh, when you see it drop down to one cents or so, not comparing that to the actual value of electronium, because I think that that is not going to be the case as the months progress and we move on. Uh, I think that with the large number of people that will join Electronium, the numbers will be so great that people will be forced to take a look at Electronium. Now, again, I'm not sure why uh, the plans of Electronium, the progress of Electronium made and the setup of Electronium, I'm not sure why it doesn't draw the attention, uh, major attention of the cryptocurrency channels, but yet you look at them and their daily reports on tokens that are not doing well, don't have very good plans, uh, there are daily reports on these, and not one mention of Electronium doesn't make any sense to me. And uh, uh, I just cannot take uh, a lot of these YouTubers serious who don't cover Electronium. In fact, I think I'm just going to stop watching their channels altogether uh, because if they're, I'm looking at like if they're not smart enough to report on Electronium then why should I take their advice on anything else? Or why should, you know, I, I think I'd be better doing my own research uh, because it just doesn't make sense to me um, the uh, that, you know, electronics not being covered by these YouTubers, by, uh, you know, the, the, the mass. I, I mean, even uh, John McAfee, at some point announced about electronium is going to be a great coin <laughs> you know so you know whatever you think of john mcafee whether you think he's some type of oracle or interesting person or uh just some uh drug addicted jerk uh you know whatever the case is he at least mentioned electronium uh and i think electronium has done enough to gain a, a worth of a recognition uh i've heard all kind of statements about it being a crappy coin that makes no sense at all. Uh, and I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I mean, you know, it's weird thoughts jump in my mind that it seems almost like somebody wants to keep electronium down. Uh, you know, uh, uh, and, and I don't I don't understand why that is. And uh, but anyway, guys, uh, I'm I'm still looking at electronium. I still think it's a great project. Uh, obviously, the cryptocurrency market overall is down. Uh, so everybody's suffering when Bitcoin prices fall. Obviously, all uh, altcoins and follow behind it, with the exception of a few. Uh, but f overall, the market pretty much rises or falls with Bitcoins. And that's just the way it is. But uh, Electronium, I think, could be more. You know, I think Electronium. Uh, I would go so far as to say, guys, I could see something like Electronium. Uh, even uh, being better than Bitcoin in a sense, uh, as far as utility, not necessarily as a store of value. I think Bitcoin will always be like the gold 2.0, right? Where you can just kind of store stuff. It's just something about Bitcoin. But as far as utility and doing everything else, mass adoption of wallets, you know, if, you know, Bitcoin only has what, about 13 million wallets, give or take, less than 20 million wallets. You know, I can see Electronium easily having hundreds of millions of wallets, people in uh, countries all over the world holding it, uh, large countries like India holding it, uh, you know, and uh, Latin American countries, uh, China, China. So I can see a lot of that happening. 
And, uh, you know, obviously, if you for the use of what you, you want to be doing with something like Electronium, it's going to make more sense if everybody, if you're spending and everybody has it, everybody has a wallet, everybody has a, and for that to be effective, you're going to need more than 13 to 20 million wallets, right? You want 100 million wallets, even a billion wallets, right? For this, for everybody to hold this now, now it's this viable token that can be transferred all around the world from place to place, right? But guys, anyway, I'm going to stop there. I, I, I hope this video uh, always keeps us uh, in mind of, you know, what Electronium is and where it can go and why other cryptocurrencies need to follow a, a similar suit and why they need to understand those aspects of the cryptocurrency space to really be significant, right? To really make it to the level that Many cryptocurrency enthusiasts and users want it to. You're going to have to cover that plateau or make it across that threshold, right? Anyway, guys, if you like content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, take care.